Woe to the robbers of honesty. That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today. This Tuesday, February the 3rd, my birthday. Proud of it. 51 years old today. I can't believe I've lived this long. I hope I live this long again. Amen. But anyway, today is Tuesday, February the 3rd. The Bible says in Matthew 23, 27. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. For you liken unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Yesterday we talked about true holiness inside and out. Now we're talking about honesty. Being honest about the truth, about what we are. You know, a graveyard looks beautiful. I've told people for a long time. I go by Highland Burial Park or I'll go by Danville Memorial Gardens and I'll see people walking in the graveyard. I asked one lady one time, I said, why do you walk in the graveyard? She says, oh, it's so pretty. All these beautiful granite stones and all the flowers. I said, yeah, but underneath all that is dead men's bones. Rotten, putrid, rottening bodies by the thousands. And you're up walking amongst them. I think I'd rather walk in a grocery store. At least I can look at some groceries. Or at least I can do something other than look at headstones and flowers on graves. It does matter what's on the inside. And it matters in our life what's on the inside. Are we pure and honest inside? Or do we act like we love people but inside we're just really growling at them? And wish they'd go on and get out of our way. Oh, we need to be true inside and out. Honest not only with uh, ourselves, but honest with God. And be honest about what's inside of us. And make sure that we're honest people. May that be your strength for today. And your hope for tomorrow.